let's go on the beach maybe. I completed a coaching program with a client today. As scheduled, on time, like there was no problem, there's no reason, you know, it wasn't a bad thing, it was an ending that we planned together. And I'm really studying endings right now, like really, how, how do I wanna do endings with clients? How do I want to do the endings that happen like this one today where we like planned it? How do I want to do endings when it happens unexpectedly? Because that happens too. How do I want to show up inside the ending? How do I want to show up for my experience, but also how do I want to show up for theirs? Endings are an interesting thing because so many of the endings that we experience in our lives happen unexpectedly. And when that happens, we often don't, we don't get to say goodbye. We don't actually get to complete the relationship or the experience. And so we end up carrying around a lot of baggage from all of those sort of incomplete endings or unconscious endings. And so the way that we as coaches and healers and spiritual teachers facilitate endings is really important because it gives our clients an opportunity to experience an ending from a place of consciousness and love and power. And so I like to do all my endings as much as possible. I like to do them all with celebration, next steps, and what wants to be said. There's kind of like an open-ended category there. So celebration is about just acknowledging the person for the work that they've done during our time together, what that, whether that's like two days or two years. To really remember what it was like before they started and measure what's happened. I think that's really important because it's easy to, easy to miss it. It's easy to feel like, oh, whatever, it's just, you know. So it sets our clients up to really celebrate themselves, which can be hard for them, to make explicit time for that. Next steps, because there's always, there's always more. So even if they're not continuing to work with me, there's something more that they're gonna do. What is that? It's so fun to help them think about that. It's very important. And sometimes those conversations are also hard. And I, I think that's important to name because sometimes people, like you can see that they're pointed at a big obstacle course. And sometimes the thing that I, I, I claim as my job, my duty to them in their final session with me is to let them know, bro, you're heading for an obstacle course. <laughs> like your next step is going to like, like how can we set you up to move through that? Because I'm not going to be there with you we're finishing. How are you going to do this work on your own? How are you going to integrate the work that we've done and make it so it doesn't just um, dissolve? People like to skip that part. People would rather just like, yay, we did it, we finished, and not talk about anything hard. That's, that's like a very typical response to an ending. So this is something that as leaders, we really have to like strengthen our resolve to make this happen. And then the final piece of making space for what else wants to be said, I like to just say like, is there anything else that you wanna say? Is there anything else that you wanna hear? Is there anything else that wants to be expressed in order for this to feel complete? And that's often really tender and emotional. And today, the person that I completed with, like one of the things that I needed to say to them was that I was gonna miss them. 
that I was going to miss seeing them. I was going to miss our, our sessions. These things are important to say. This is how we end, by saying these kinds of things, whatever it is that's true for us. Everything you want already here, here.